so what we have here is that we've got a TV education um, cinemas and newspapers uh, according to Bertrand, Bertrand Russell um, is a form of propaganda it's basically a form of for governments and el elitists to control public opinion control public beliefs attitudes things like that it is basically not it is biased propaganda that's what propaganda is it's to mislead the public to get them to believe what you want them to believe that's what propaganda is it doesn't it's not about balancing out all all the facts you know it's about directing people's thinking so that's why you can't trust the tv you can't you cannot trust education you cannot trust the cinemas you cannot trust the newspapers you just can't any form of media you just can't i'm afraid you can't if you want to know what the truth about the world that we live in you need to you need to basically look at the facts around the world and and if you're wondering why the the scientific community seems to be atheistic like well when we look at um, the Illuminati um, in um, Perfectibilis book the Illuminati wanted, wanted to rid religions from society and morals you see religion teaches how to have moral standards you see well the Illuminati wanted to get rid of that and you find evidence that the Illuminati and Freemasons were helping to get rid of religions from schools because they, they, they want immorality in the schools. That's basically what they want, Adam Weishaupt. Then then I find it interesting that the Rothschilds in the book called Pawns in the Game, um, they talk about wanting a one world government and they say said that they would use Freemasonry to promote atheistic materialism amongst the public. And they also wanted to corrupt the youth of the nations with drugs and alcohol. You know, they want to get rid of morals and you, then of course you find the united nations they plan to have a one world government they say they need to rid um, from the minds of men religious dogma to achieve world government so the basics of our system is basically to, to be anti-religion you can use propaganda techniques in, in um, maybe through documentaries that debunk We've also got this uh, discovery of Noah's Ark. And it's um, just as the Bible said that Noah's Ark was was um, was on Mount Ar Ararat, right, which is in Turkey. <coughs> and Ron Wyatt, he, he, ma he made his own discoveries there. And he went there at Turkey at Mount Ararat, found a boat shape. Um, he found the iron nails, the parallel, parallel lines. They, they found petrified type of wood. Um, and also the length of the boat was the same dimensions, or roughly the same dimensions. It's really old. Um, the same dimensions as what the Bible said. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's very interesting. That is. You see, you you will never get this on the on TV. Um, you won't if you get any any documentaries because TV is propaganda. TV is propaganda. Um, they're not gonna allow. Um, if they're gonna make a TV show about Noah's Ark. It would be to debunk it. That's what it would be about. It will be getting you to ignore all the facts to support the Bible's accuracy. Because remember, they want a nation of um, that's not non-religious. You know, they want a public to be more atheistic. You know, in order for them to get world government. Now, of course. What you find um, is that <clears throat> is that um, you you have civilizations that, that 
come away from Noah. Um, like for example, Ham, um, he would have known about um, the flood of Noah, and he went away to Egypt. So he's the you could say he's the father of the Egyptian uh, dynasties. You know, after the flood, which means, and then of course you find that the Egyptians do have a flood myth, except they've got the god Ra involved, and they've got the idea that that um that the people were evil, that they were going against Ra himself, and Ra wanted to know what to do with them, and uh, you know, so he basically forms a type of uh, a type of flood. Uh, you know, and then basically um, only a few humans are thus saved and are able to begin a new life. So it's very similar, you know, that you find here. And of course, you'll find flood myths all over the world. In Australia, they had the, the idea that the whole world was flooded. If you were to go to, um, you know, you'll, you'll find flood myths all over the world. Beca and the reason why is because these... These ancient people remembered what it was like. And then, of course, you know, you find the geological evidence that, that the whole world was flooded. Um, but you'll need to look at this and um, that the world is actually young. It's a young earth and, and the world was flooded. And the flood actually made the world. It eroded the rocks and it, it made... Um, it, uh, it had a buried, um, rapid burial of, of trees and things like that, making the world look like as if it's millions of years old. But it was never millions of years old. It just looked like as if it was, because they don't believe in an ancient flood, you see. The science world doesn't believe in that. But, um, but there's other scientists that have looked and realized that the Earth has been flooded, because you've got vegetation and different animals, um, like tropical animals found in um, uh, found in cold climates places, you know, like how did they get there? Fossils of them, you know, because they, they, they should be in Africa, not up in Siberia, for example. So there's a lot of a lot wrong with um, um, that, that there's so much evidence to support that the world was flooded at one point. And that the world is actually young. But this will be hushed up, you see, in the science community. Because science is propaganda. It's biased. It doesn't want the public knowing the truth of the Bible.